it's to conquer fears or face a challenge, there's something that drives the human spirit to go farther, faster, higher. We applaud exploration. We marvel at new records, and we wonder at those who keep trying to push the edge of the envelope. But the folks who do it just for the thrill of it, well, they're a curious breed to the rest of us. You're about to meet a thrill seeker who's determined to do what no man has done before and is about to learn just what can happen when you go too far. Here's Bob McEwen. What is about to happen here on the towering Skyway Bridge outside Tampa has never happened anywhere. Oh! Oh! That adrenaline feel, man, that rush is just, it's like nothing I've ever felt before. All right, all right, all right. Before it's over, this daredevil stunt will challenge the laws of Florida, physics, and basic common sense. I didn't think a lot about the consequences. I thought the worst it would be is we get arrested. Five people will hurl themselves off the bridge, lashed to a steel cable, swinging out over the water 20 stories below. Right when you jump off the bridge, you hear. Because that's a cable cutting the wind. You're shooting right up to the bridge. But somewhere between the bridge and the bay, a risky idea would get a whole lot worse. You could definitely feel that the angle of the swing had changed. The upswing had stopped. We were now going down. Gravity was pulling us towards the water. Birdie, is this three and a half feet? It is just a few hours before the jump. So proud of what they're about to do, stunt organizer Steve Trotter has enlisted three camera crews to document the event. Dateline obtained this video from them. I guarantee you a treat, Tampa Skyway. Trotter's enthusiasm can be infectious. One, two, three, push that up. 35 years old, a veteran thrill seeker. He's a shoe in for the Are You Out of Your Mind Hall of Fame. Dig it. Know it. Trotter made his first big splash a dozen years ago, plummeting over Niagara Falls in a barrel. Like an elevator with no cable. The barrel, there it goes. There it is. There it goes. There it goes. He beat the falls again with a female friend in 1995, though this time he couldn't beat the cops. The pair was arrested and fined more than $10,000. But Trotter's true talent seems to be jumping off bridges, big ones. Right in front of the authorities, he spent this day dangling from San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge. He spent the night in jail. That spawned more bridge jumps with his brother off the George Washington Bridge in New York, with two friends in Tampa off the Skyway Bridge. But each and every one of those things we just described, Jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge, the George Washington Bridge, yeah. the Skyway but in I, Tampa but, and Niagara right, Falls is right. illegal. It's against the law. It's against the law, but I, I made that decision to do it, you know. That's my decision. And Trotter's decided his trademark will be what he calls the pendulum swing. Here's how it works. In New York, he and his brother tied themselves to a cable anchored to the bridge, then leapt together, triggering a pendulum effect, swinging back and forth at breathtaking speed. But it's the Skyway Bridge, rising almost 200 feet above Tampa Bay, that's proved an irresistible lure for Steve Trotter. Two, three, push. He did the pendulum swing here with two other jumpers in 1991. And Trotter vowed his next jump from the Skyway would be the most daring of all. I wanted to do a five-man pendulum swing. I wanted something higher than the Golden Gate. And there it was again, the Tampa Skyway staring me in the face. I go to Tampa, I'm just hanging out one afternoon, I'm like, yeah, I can do five people off that bridge. Has that been done before, no, to your knowledge? No, Anywhere no, in the no. world? No, no way. And you're about to find out why. Am I still wax, John? Sporting a new mustache and ponytail, Trotter has recruited his four closest friends to join the stunt. Like him, all but one are Fort Lauderdale bartenders. Kenny Bunker is one of them. There's only one way to go, and that's right over the edge. Bunker was on the crew that pushed Trotter over Niagara Falls but he's never actually jumped off a bridge himself. For some reason, he didn't think anything could go wrong. I had a really divine feeling. I just did not feel it was my day to go. Another jumper, Lori Martin, was Trotter's partner in the barrel at Niagara Falls. But before this jump, she seems unusually quiet. You know, this is, I think, it's going to be the last one for me. I can't promise, never say never, but... Well, I don't know if she really wanted to do it, but I asked her, I go, sweetheart, are you sure you want to do this? You know, we can, I can get someone else in your spot. Oh, I want to go, Steve Trotter. I go, you sure, honey? 
You know, she goes, yeah, I want to go. Oh, hey. Glenn Rahm and Jeff Sargent round out the five-person team. Just minutes to go. With the very equipment they'll use to leap off the bridge, some of it purchased at a local hardware store just hours earlier, they listen as Trotter gives his final instructions. On the third belt, when it levels out, I'll go one, two, three, and just swing it. We'll have the rush of your oh, let's get the hell out. Insisting he's more cautious than crazy, Trotter claims the stunt was carefully planned. So how well did he test that critical steel cable, their lifeline? People will say this to me. Did you test it, Steve Trotter? Um, like a, I'll say, like, what do you mean, how did I test it? Do you want me to jump off with a couple blow-up dolls and uh, with filled up the cement and test it that way? Will that make you happy? When you're going to jump off the Skyway Bridge from a couple hundred feet with four of your best friends, is it not a valid question? It's a valid... Did you test it? Yes, it's a valid question. But no, I did not. Steve Trotter didn't test that cable because he thought he had everything all figured out. The combined weight of him and the other four jumpers was 900 pounds. The cable, which is just like this one, is guaranteed to support 1,400 pounds. So no problem, right? Wrong. What Trotter didn't consider is that at up to 80 miles an hour, the force of gravity and the G-forces at work on that cable would be a lot more than 900 pounds. The crucial question would be, how much more? It is 7.30 p.m., zero hour. The jump team nears the Skyway. If there's a lack of planning, there's certainly no shortage of camera crews. Trotter has one in the air, one on the water, and one on the bridge next to him. Pull right over. Pull right over here. Stop. They stop at the highest point, 20 stories up. Hey, John, is they have to move fast to beat oh, the police. Go with it, go with it, go with it. If the cops catch them, there'll be no jump. Wearing his own helmet-mounted camera, Trotter unspools the cable. Within seconds, the stage is set. The jumpers ready. Check your harnesses. Check all your harnesses. It's a lot of responsibility it on is. your shoulders. Yeah, a lot. Like I said, it's, it's incredible responsibility on my shoulder. I mean, you have five of us now, not just two, not three, five. And uh, you don't want anything to happen to these five people. One, two, three, go! They clear the bridge. The cable whips them out over the water. When you jump off, it's like, oh, 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 oh. whoa, this is great! And all of a sudden, tsh, that noise, they didn't know what that noise was. I knew what that noise was. And it was? Uh, it was the worst. <laughs> They're going fast towards that water. Five friends now fighting for their lives. The dramatic conclusion to our story when we return. We'll see you in my